Hey everyone, I'm Chris and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you what a lattice deformer is, how to set it up and how to use it. So to begin, what is a lattice deformer? It's a method of deforming a complex object using a very simple cage, like a scene uh, I have set up here with this sphere. And on the outside I've already set up a very simple lattice cage and using the points of this cage I can easily deform the sphere in any method that I want, like so. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set this up. So here I have a duplicate of my sphere, and the lattice deformer is found in the animation menu. So come to animation along the top with your sphere selected, or any object for that matter. Come up to Create Deformers, and you'll find it right here, Lattice. And we can use the default settings for this. And you see it puts the cage around the sphere. And under the Shape node, we can see the FFD, which stands for Freeform Deform One Lattice Shape. And we can change the number of divisions that it has. So we can put it up to as many as we want. But we'll keep it simple. Let's put it to three and left click go to lattice point and you get the points as you saw before when you're done editing that you'll notice if you move your object in the lattice it's still attached to the lattice therefore it will affect the object differently so it can be used to morph an object as it passes through however if we were done with this and we wanted to carry on all we've got to do is delete the history and we're now free to use our object as we want. Now if our object is on an angle the behavior between Maya 2012 and some of the earlier versions is slightly different so I'll explain them both here. Currently I have moved and rotated this cube and I haven't frozen its transformations. So when I go to create a lattice around it, the lattice takes on the rotation of the cube. And I'll show you that. There's the lattice. And I can deform it. And just to prove this to you, if I turn off show polygons, so you can see there's the lattice around it. If I control Z out of that, some of the earlier versions of Maya, and indeed if the transformations were frozen on this cube, which I'm going to do here, freeze the transformation so everything's back to zero, and now I create a lattice, you'll see that Maya creates it straight around it. You may want to rotate it so that it's in line with your cube. However, because you've created it, as you can see from the side view here, it's deforming the cube, which is no good to us at all. If I want to change this, the rotation of the lattice in any way at all, I need to come to the outliner, and you'll see we have freeform deform one lattice, and it also has a base. The way a lattice works is by calculating the difference between the base and the actual lattice itself. So if I select the base, and I rotate it, you see the cube starting to rotate back in the other direction. And I know that we rotate this to 45 degrees, so if I hit 45 in there, the cube's now actually rotated back to its normal position. If I now come up to the freeform deform one lattice, and I also rotate that 45 degrees, we now have the lattice on the correct orientation for the cube, and the cube is also in the right place and we can again begin to edit that. Come back here, change the divisions, select say these lattice points, just pull them out. Okay, quick and easy tutorial, I hope everything made sense. If you do have any questions just post them below and I'll try to get back to you. Bye!